Jeremy Goldson here with Mountain Vista Cross Country Coach Jonathan Dalby. The state cross country meet is this weekend, and both the Vista boys and girls won their regionals. For the Vista girls, in fact, uh, though, Jonathan, a little bit of a surprise to win the regional. They certainly weren't the favorites. I don't know that it was a, a surprise to our girls. Um, I think they, they went in pretty confident, feeling like they had uh, had put in the work um, to uh, to beat a team like Valor, um, they uh, they were pretty well on mission that day to to try to go after them and, and give it a shot, and they knew what they wanted to do that day. Uh, we just hadn't had a race yet this year where uh, I think all of our girls had walked away feeling like they accomplished what they wanted to, but on that particular day, uh, we had six girls that ran six outstanding races, and they... It looks like the 5A girls meet is pretty wide open this year, a handful of really good teams. How would you preview it? Yeah, I, I think there's probably, on paper anyway, uh, if all teams had, you know, great days and ran like they're capable of, there's probably five teams that could walk away and uh, and have a chance to, to win it. Uh, Arapaho is defending state champions. They look very good. Uh, Creek's good. Cherokee Trail's good. Uh, Valor's good. You know, we're in the mix now. Uh, so it'll, it'll be a fun day. How will you guys approach the meet this weekend? We'll ask the kids not to get two carried away in the first 30 seconds or so of that race and uh, kind of run within themselves and be patient for a mile or so and then try to uh, move through uh, move through the other 24 some odd runners that are in their heat. So for the boys, it's a little bit different. They've probably been the best team in the state all year and, and you've talked throughout the year about them running with a target on their back. With the girls being a little bit of a surprise, the boys probably are the favorites coming into this year's meet. So I think the boys are going in with a little bit of a, a chip on their shoulder. Uh, we've been second the last two years to Dakota Ridge. Uh, so I know they're, they're motivated to, to perform well. And, uh, you know, the team game is very important to them. Um, we're going to have to, you know, not beat ourselves that day. But they would just have to go in and, and just, uh, like I said, we know the target's on our back. Um, I think they're just going to have to go in and uh, not worry about what the outcome is. Just worry about the things that they can control in a race. Um, worry about their effort in a race. Uh, worry about, you know, just the things that they can take care of, like how they want to start the race, um, you know, how they want to move up as the race goes on, uh, and not worry too much about what uh, what other people from other teams are really uh, doing other than we need just need to compete hard against them. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, an advantage to us to have sort of two mini teams on the line together uh, instead of putting somebody out there in a heat by themselves. Uh, so now at least they have three teammates to work together with um, and that kind of help keep them motivated as that race goes on. So I think it's a pretty intense experience. How do you uh, prepare your guys for a race like this or really for any of the races? Are you focusing on time? Are you focusing on technique? What do you ask them to think about as they're running? Uh, you know, we don't, so we try not, Coach Sally and I have made it a sort of a philosophy of the program is that we just don't focus on time. Uh, we've, you know, talked to the athletes about being seekers of competition versus seekers of time. Uh, and then if they'll go out and compete hard and compete against other teams, other athletes, uh, then the time will just be, uh, you know, will just come. Focus on the people that are in front of you. Uh, focus on people that you know you can can run with and compete with, and that's what we really want from them. This team has been incredibly successful over the last decade or so. Five state titles for the boys, two for the girls. And I know that you are loath to pat yourself on the back, but can you share with us a little bit about what makes this team such a success and what makes it so special? The culture of the team has been what's... Uh, sort of carried them from one year to the next. And though this year's been funny because of the, the league championship has always been so important to us uh, because that has been a chance for our full team at the uh, varsity level, but the uh, the open level where the majority of our team runs uh, and the uh, the junior varsity level uh, for all of us to, to compete for a league championship together. And it's a really big deal for, uh, for our kids to try to go out and uh, – and compete for six league titles on the same day. But I just think that like, it's sort of contagious when all, when everybody knows that they have uh, a part in the program, whether you're, you know, the fastest kid on our team or the slowest kid on our team, you still have to do your part. Uh, I think it's a belief that everybody feels like they contribute to the team. It's a big deal to them to be successful at all levels and that everybody matters. And, uh, you know, boys and girls both have just kind of always, uh, 
always been that way. Now, a couple of weeks ago, you, among with a lot of other Mountain Vista teachers, were quarantined and unable to practice with the students and, and really have to had to be away from the athletes for a little while. How did you handle that? How did they handle that? The kids, to their credit, are really the ones that kept it afloat. Our senior boys and girls really did an awesome job um, keeping things uh, keeping things going while we couldn't be there. And uh, they, in, in a lot of ways, I think they were better off for it. Uh, to have to have done that and experience what that was like, just to show them that they, you know, they don't necessarily need one of us, a coach, to be there. To uh, it's it's their team; they're the ones that lead it. Um, you know, we're trying to help them out and give them advice. And I suppose they are used to that this year. Uh, but the, so the kids back in March, when everything started to shut down during the track season, uh, our cross country kids are really our track kids. Uh, they just had to do it like together. And we started off where for a few weeks they were just training individually. Uh, we would just post workouts for them. Uh, and then after a couple of weeks, I think Douglas County was letting us be out in like groups of four. So the kids organized themselves in groups of four. And then as time went on, they got to be a little bit bigger. Uh, we didn't actually have direct coaching with them from about mid-March to mid-June, other than we were just posting workouts. Yeah, I feel bad for the kids because they're so used to everybody being together. Um, this year, we've had to ask them to do something that they're pretty unfamiliar with because of COVID and just the, the safety of uh, people throughout Colorado. It's been, it's been neat to watch. It's been neat to see them be resilient during this. Uh, it's been neat to see like our freshman girls and boys uh, have a very different like intro experience to high school cross country and still be a part of the team. You can tell it's still important to them. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to join us, Coach Dalby. And good luck to you and Coach Sally, obviously, and Coach Lowell and all of the runners for the Mountain Vista girls and boys cross country teams as they take part in the state championship this weekend, Saturday, at the Norris Penrose Event Center in Colorado Springs. Some limited access for the public if you're looking to go to the event on Saturday. The boys run at 4 o'clock, the girls at 4.45 on Saturday afternoon. The girls looking to win their third state championship and the boys looking for a sixth. You can follow all of the action on chassonnow.org or on the vista.now underscore Twitter. We will not be covering that event live. That's through the NFHS network. But for more information on Mountain Vista Sports and your cross-country team, stay tuned always here to Vista Now. Thanks for watching.